Assalamualaikum semua orang So for today's video, what I'm going to talk is about how to study in medical school Whatever I'm going to tell you guys later is basically based on my own experience in medical school I hope that by now you already know what style of studying that suits you best so like it or not, uh, when you're studying medicine, there will be a lot of topics, be a lot of topics, be a lot of topics to cover. There will be a lot of things to memorize. So you have to read. A reading textbook, especially medical textbook, it's overwhelming because there are a lot of books that you need to read. Uh, make sure that you always refer to the list of recommended textbook. Um, in the guidebook that you always get whenever you are starting a posting or a module there is ebook version sometimes you can borrow from the library so if you're not the type that like to read from textbook you can always refer to the lecture notes um, some of the lecturers are not keen to give their slides to you guys so basically during the lecture you can always uh, multitasking you have to focus, but at the same time, you have to jot down whatever important points um, in your notes. So there are also um, textbook and notes uh, made by uh, junior house officers, medical officers. Uh, so this is kind of additional references that you should keep it to yourself. Don't bring it uh, during your work rounds or during your bedsides with your lecturers because most of the lecturers do not prefer you refer solely based on these kind of notes because uh, there might be errors, uh, there might be um, misleading information from these kind of notes. So make sure that you refer back to the recommended textbook. There is a lot to read. Definitely. Yes. The next way to study medicine is basically drawing and writing. Drawing like flowcharts, colorful graphics, tables, you know, it's easier for you to just understand what is the important points and it's easier for you to memorize it. Writing your own short notes is very, very um, beneficial for you. It makes you remember better. Uh, it's kind of a practice for you when you're going to work. Uh, you have to write fast and your writing must be eligible to read. So the next way to study medicine is basically you have to practice have to practice have to practice so during preclinical years your focus is more towards understanding the basic things having exams doing the assignments uh, but when you enter clinical years there are a lot of additional things that you need to do um, such as clocking history doing physical examination presenting your cases in front of your lecturers in front of your friends as well as the structure of the questions is a bit more um, difficult compared to the preclinical years. Um, so, like it or not, you have to practice. So, as for me, I was not that fluent in English. I was not that confident enough to speak in front of a lot of people. But practice absolutely helped me a lot. Um, so, if you guys are like me, you guys can always uh, practice in front of the mirror at least. Uh, practice with your friends who are able to criticize and evaluate you honestly. So, you will improve. In terms of physical examination, it's very important to show that you have done the examination a lot of time and it will show if you didn't practice enough. Um, it is very important to make sure that the patient are comfortable and the examiner or the doctor know what you are doing and always uh, practice the objective questions in terms of best answer questions, um, short answer questions, there will be essays sometimes, um, OSCE, um, sometimes your seniors are kind enough to uh, share with you in the past year's collection, so make use of that. Uh, most of the questions is kind of a clinical scenarios. It is kind of integrated questions that um, needs you to think fast because most of the exams is just 30 minutes and you have like 30 questions. Um, the answers is like ni pun betul, ni pun betul. So you guys have to practice a lot. Whenever I feel like I have no mood to study properly. So this is a more fun and interesting way for me to study medicine which is by watching series and movies. Because I know the feeling of you try to study a lot, but you gain nothing from that. You know, your and your brain is just tired. So this is like a more relaxed way of gaining knowledge. And here are the list of the series and dramas and movies that um, I've watched. Uh, when, but I don't recommend you guys to do like a marathon, like finish the whole series in one day. Um, sometimes I also open YouTube if I don't understand about the pathology, about you know those biochemistry, physiology kind of thing. 
and uh, these are the list of YouTube channels that I really really recommend you guys to go and watch their videos because um, it's very very good if you guys are the one who like go online Facebook Instagram and stuff um, nowadays there are a lot of medical related page and accounts that you guys can follow there are always a way for you guys to use social media as a platform for you guys to study medicine but again it's just alternative yeah so use it use it wisely so the last thing that I want to share with you guys on how to study in medical school is by sharing you can always share your notes uh, questions you know you form a discussion in whatsapp groups or instagram or facebook and i think that you know when you share something it's easier for you to memorize them it's easier for you to remember them and whenever there is discussion you may learn something new so hopefully this video is very helpful for you guys especially for medical students as well as you guys who are interested to pursue your study in medicine if any of you guys that are watching who have not subscribed yet to my channel, hopefully you guys are willing to subscribe for more beneficial content. So yeah.